What's up dreamers? Welcome back to City Skylines. This is Jacksonville, a series that I am trying to create a city that is heavily inspired by the North Florida city of Jacksonville. I'm beginning the episode with some clips of me building a bridge that crosses over from the south side to the north side of the river. I believe that it's part of Main Street that just runs straight through downtown. I also want to go ahead and apologize for missing this weekend's episode. When I set out to create an episode every single week, that was a bit ambitious, I will say. I guess I forgot that uh, real life is still a thing and I have a job that is Monday through Friday that takes up most of the day. Unfortunately, uh, last Friday, I got a flat tire and that took up my entire day trying to get it fixed and get it replaced. And then on Saturday, I had the privilege to attend an air show, which was really, really awesome. I'll throw uh, some pictures and maybe a video up. going forward i'm going to continue to try to release a video every week uh, however it sometimes might be two weeks and i'll put up a post if that's going to be the case uh, i'm going to continue to try this once a week thing and if it just doesn't work out i'm going to shift to two times a week i also want to throw in some shorts and maybe an episode or two about city skylines 2 as well Anyway, that being said, in this episode, once I finish with the bridge, we're going to be working on the south side of the river. In Jacksonville, the city is kind of separated by this river. Most of the city is on the northern side. However, just on the south side, there's a couple bigger buildings and they have a really cool shoreline along with this awesome key wall or I guess path that goes over the water that's kind of separated from the land. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy this episode. And if you want to mind, just drop a like and uh, subscribe if you want to watch more episodes like this one. My name is Dream Scraper, and let's go. Before we begin, in last week's episode, I put in a Chick-fil-A in the place of a Popeyes. I put on my community channel page uh, for a vote to see what was more well-liked. Popeyes or Chick-fil-A and Popeyes won so I promised that I would replace the Chick-fil-A with the Popeyes so this is me doing that. So to begin I want to start with this key wall or path I'm not exactly sure which one it is but basically it's this path that overhangs the water and runs along the uh, the shoreline. I think it looks really cool and I definitely want to add it into this build. So what I do to create this is I take a normal key wall and then I just run it alongside of the bank. And then to get that separation of path and land, I use a terraforming network and I run it along the side, which creates that water flow. I didn't really like the jagged lines that was like along the bank. And I knew that there was going to be a path that ran along it. So what I did was I used the concrete overpass blocks and procedural objects to create a path there. I knew if I was to use like a normal key wall, it just wouldn't fit right and the spacing would be wrong. So I think that this was probably my best option. All right, so now that I got both my path on the land and the path that goes out over the water put in, I'm going to go ahead and try to give it that red color that is like in real life so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use procedural objects again with this brick wall and then turn it sideways and lay it down flat on top of the path the design isn't exactly the same but this achieves the look that i think that i'm going for i really like how that turned out and i think it looks really good so now i just pick out a whole bunch of buildings and now it's just time to put them into place
so now that everything's in place i'm gonna go ahead and start detailing each and every building the unfortunate reality is that in the united states every single building is typically going to have some form of parking whether that be a parking garage underneath or just a parking lot right outside so to keep it realistic i'm gonna have to add in parking i know a lot of my european viewers don't necessarily like that but Hopefully one day I'll be able to do a European build where I don't have to put as much parking in. So to continue our theme from across the river, this is pretty much going to be mostly condominium buildings where it's just residential. There's typically a pool out front and there's like park area that the people who live here are able to enjoy. For this first building i was just gonna stop right here because i thought it looked pretty good but i don't know i just thought there was way too much concrete and not enough filling that blank space so i decided to throw in a little bit more Now for this second building, I really wanted to blend it in pretty well with the buildings that were around it. I don't end up adding a parking lot for this specific building, so it's going to need parking and connection from the buildings over. I end up using this bridge walkway that I believe is actually for an airport, but I'm not exactly sure. But it connects the buildings really well via like a walkway over the road, and I think it looks really cool. Now for the water side of this building, I really wanted to make it a cool place that people who lived here or worked here or whatever the case could just come out and enjoy some fresh air and some time next to the to the water. Now with this cool new path, the Sims need somewhere to walk and actually shop. So I threw in this cool multi-use shopping center with living on top and shops down there at the bottom.
All right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Again, I just want to say thanks for watching. I put a lot of work and effort into these videos, and I really appreciate the, the people who, who do stick around and watch to the end. My plan is to try to release another one this weekend. I can't promise it, but I am going to really try to put out something, even if it's just small or maybe just a short. I would really like to move on to bigger and better things within the city, like Jacksonville Beach, and I want to work on some public transportation, one being the monorail line that does exist, and I would like to expand it out into some suburbs. Anyway, enjoy the cinematics and just once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.